If you want to really impress your clients and those you work with, you know how important it is to stay on brand. But that can be really difficult with our project management and other productivity software. But what if you could turn something like this into this, complete with your logo, your colors, and everything else that you would like to customize, including the ability to hide certain menus so you're only sharing what you want to share. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that with one of my favorite tools. Now, Walling has been one of my favorite productivity tools for a while. Why? Well, number one, they have a free forever option which has very few limitations. And Number two, it has such a frictionless way to add your ideas and your information. Here I am with a brand new wall, and if I just double click anywhere, I can immediately start to type in my new idea and other details that I want to share down below. But the great thing is that I'm not just limited to text or checklists or to bullet points. If I wanna quickly grab an image, all I need to do is grab it, drag it again, wherever I want to, and I easily have that image available to me. What about if I just paste a link? Perfect, now I've got direct access to this website as well. And everything is click and drag. So if I want to easily group things together, I can do that right here within Walling as well. The other feature that I love is that we can create as many sections as we need to. So maybe down here, I'm going to add some tasks. And in this case, I'm gonna make it more of a Kanban board. So I can quickly and easily create as many different sections as I like without having to jump to different pages on my screen. But let's get back to customizing how Walling will look for others. Another one of my favorite features is that if I hit the share button here, I can create a public shareable link, meaning I can copy the this link and share it with others where they will not have to log in. I can keep them up to date with what's happening with this project. They can see where things are at, but they don't need to create their own login. They can quickly and easily access the same information. But recently, Walling has added the ability for us to customize our wall. So if I select this option here, we will have the same wall open up, but now we can go ahead and customize to our heart's content. Let's get started with the logo. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to add a logo from file. So in this case, I'm gonna add my Simpletivity logo. I'm gonna add this one here, but because it's a white logo, I can't see it. So I better come down here and change the wall background. So maybe I want to use this darker shade of blue. Perfect, now we can see my logo and I can come up and change the position or the size as I like as well. I particularly like my logo in the middle here and maybe I'm gonna reduce it just a little bit so it's slightly smaller. If you have a cover image, you can choose to put it above or beneath, but in my case, I like to keep things nice and clean so I just have the logo up here. Here. Of course, Walling gives us a number of different creative ways for us to lay out our walls. And if I want to include that wall cover, I can do so here, but in my case, I'm going to keep that hidden. So it's nice and clean with those who I'm going to share with. In addition to changing our wall background, we can also change the default color of our bricks and all of the text as well. So for example, maybe I want the background color of my default bricks to be a bit of a green Green shade. What I'm gonna do is come up here and I'm gonna choose this green color and maybe we're gonna do something a little bit lighter, something in that tone there. So again, I can customize to my heart's content. And if I wanna change the text color, I can do so as well. One of the most helpful things you may want to alter is your default text font. So for example, maybe I want this to stand out a little bit different than the other fonts or the other text on screen. I'm gonna come down here and choose the Rubik font, and I'm also gonna make it stand out a bit more by making it a little bit larger. I can, of course, change the fonts for the other bricks and section titles as I want, but in this example, I'm gonna keep them as is. Now, the next two sections on our customized tab are really going to help us choose what we want to show and display and how it looks to those who are going to get access to this public link. So, for example, do I want 
to allow them to both add and view public comments. With this ability here, the user will have the ability to add a comment themselves. But if I only want to give them read-only access, I might want to toggle that to off. And then down below, we can customize a little bit further in terms of the look and feel and also what they'll be able to see. So if I want to change my brick corner, something from something sharp to maybe something that is extra rounded, I can do that here. Do I want to display the wall members or do I want to keep that hidden as well? In addition, I can review other options such as the wall search function or if I want to change or hide section headers and section numbers. Now, when I'm finished customizing my wall, I'm gonna come up to the very top. You can see that it has changed this to this custom profile. Before I'm done, I'm going to want to save this as a theme. So maybe I'm gonna call this my green theme in this case, and I'm gonna hit the save button. This is gonna be extremely helpful so that I can quickly and easily apply the exact same theme to as many other walls as I like. And here you can see I've already created a few other custom themes. So if I want to go back to this simple blue, I can do so, but maybe in this case, I want to stick with my green theme. If you don't want to customize on your own, Walling also provides us with a number of presets as well. So here I can choose this matrix style, or maybe I want to be really bold and choose this orange option as well. So you can either customize or use one of the other options to your heart's content. But just before before I proceed and sharing this link with an external client, I want to look at one other new feature, and that has to do with sharing particular sections. Within each wall, you can create as many sections as you need. And in this example here, my last and final section is a task list. But perhaps I don't want to share this with my client. This is only for internal purposes, but all of the other sections I want to make available. If I click on this share button again, I can select all sections, and here I'm going to uncheck my tasks. So now when someone views my customized wall, they will have no idea that there is a missing section or certain sections which I've kept hidden. This gives me the flexibility to share only what I want and to display it in the way that I want with those who I share externally. So if you're wanting a better way to visualize all of your ideas and projects and share them with others, go to walling.app or click the link in the description down below. And if you're wanting to learn even more of the fantastic fantastic features within Walling, be sure to click on this video next where I give you a complete walkthrough of this amazing app.